Hey guys, it's me, Made Up Jen, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome to a very much waited video that I've been kind of like <sighs> lagging to like record. And it's not that I've been lagging because I haven't had the time, it's just that I've been lagging because every time I want to record this, it's so late at night, and I just don't have like the time to really like record in front of you guys. But today, I have the time to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my nighttime my nighttime skincare routine. So first things first, I already washed my face. I will tag both this one and this one down here. So I use two cleansers at night when I go to sleep. I use my regular um, cleanser that I use during the day and then I use an exfoliating one as my second cleanser and then I actually relax for about 25 minutes to half an hour using an LED mask so that's also why I haven't recorded for you guys because usually by the time I finish this I don't want to do anything anymore I just want to go to sleep because it's so relaxing to just sit there with the mask on where you're kind of like just doze off I'm watching TV but I still like doze off because I've had such a long day I'm so tired and I just finished doing that so the first thing I'm gonna do right now ooh, 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 I just dropped a bunch of crap uh, the first thing I'm gonna do right now is actually I'm gonna go ahead and use my lip treatment uh, this is the Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm lip treatment I got this for the 21 days of um, beauty from Ulta it's a little bit on the pricier side but honestly the original is the best I've tried the cocoa and the watermelon and I always 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 come back to this um, I've been getting a uh, dermatitis all over my face and my skin as you guys can see right here I am getting some dermatitis I have to actually apply um, uh, hydrocortisone every time it starts flaring up because my skin is so sensitive I can't put just anything on my lips on my skin because it will flare up so this has been good to me every time I put this on I don't get any little bumps I used to get these little, <laughs> I used to get these little bumps all over my lip so I think every time I put that on we're good to go and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply toner I'm gonna use the Tony Moly Wonder Ceramide Mochi Toner I used to use this during the day but I actually stopped using it during the day and now I just use it at night it's a little bit on the pricier side like it's $23 for this toner but this bottle is so big guys it's like the size of my face <laughs> and every time I I buy this it lasts me like almost a whole year I repurp repurchased this on um, the other day because I was running low on my my last bottle and I you know Amazon tells you when's the last time you actually purchased something and the last time I purchased that bottle guys it was in October of 2021 we're already in the middle of September and that bottle lasted me almost the whole year and it's so scary like I put it in like little travel bottles like when I went to like Vegas or we went to Hawaii like I taken some of it and I've used it and it lasted a whole almost a year guys so $23 doesn't sound that expensive when it lasts that long and then next um I use uh, this essence I don't know if it really like works I don't know how the essences like kind of like go um, but I am talking about the soul cuticles marine mineral plump and glow essence so I bought this on Amazon I don't know like I said if it's really like doing anything to my skin it's not breaking me out but I don't know if it's really doing anything um, it says that it's supposed to plump and glow your skin I don't know if it, I don't think it works because I'm already using the Tony Moly and that was supposed to make your skin like bouncing glowy uh, but I use it during the day also now um, with my other toner and I still don't notice like a big difference but I still keep using it anyway and the bottle doesn't last very long I think I bought this like a month ago and I'm already like halfway through but then again I'm using it during both day and night so I, I'm not too sure 
Um, if anyone else has used it before, uh, let me know what it's done for you. I don't know if it's really like doing anything like extraordinary. I actually do have another one waiting. Um, I bought the hot the good molecules hyaluronic acid boosting essence this thing is huge and yeah i already have this ready to use once this runs out because like i said it didn't like really impress me and i think this is more on the pricier side this was i think like 14 dollars i'm gonna give this a try and then i'll get back to you guys on this one once i get rid of this one and start using this one and then next um I'm going to go ahead and apply my serum. I do use the same um I do use the same serum that I use during the day. So if you want to know what I wear, I mean what I use during the day, I'll link the video up here. Uh, but I use the Body Mary H Defense Super 6 Serum. This thing has like so many crap in it. Like I'm the type of person who's just like give me one and done. I don't want to have to have three million bottles of this separate like the hyaluronic acid uh nice i might like i know that there's like individual bottles of just that but i it just takes so much time and i just don't want to deal with it so this um it has 22 percent vitamin c it has hyaluronic acid coisimide coisimide Q10, vitamin A, niacinamide, and astaxanthin. Uh, those are all very good benefits to your skin, especially if you're like in your late 20s, early 30s, like I am. I am heading towards my mid 30s and I just cannot wear like, like I have to start going more towards the older skin stuff. And this honestly, it helps me out with a lot of my scarring i have like um like right here this is an acne spot that i have right here and it's slowly helping it fade uh just fyi if you've never used like a percentage of vitamin c it will irritate your skin if you go straight into like a 20 percent vitamin c type of serum so if i were you i would 100 percent avoid it um and the next thing i'm gonna use is eye cream yes i use eye cream before my moisturizer i just feel like once you apply moisturizer whatever is under there it's locking it in and i don't want my eye cream to be on top of that so i actually use this um this is fairly new i don't know if i'm gonna keep this i'm thinking i might return it well not return it sorry <laughs> i'm thinking that i'm just gonna look for another nighttime eye cream i do use two different type of eye creams during the day and i use a, a different one at night i used to use a neutrogena eye cream the retinol eye cream and wait where is it at i was going to show you guys which one it is oh it's right here i used to use this one the neutrogena rapid wrinkle eye repair wait wrinkle repair eye cream with retinol but I actually just started using it during the day now mixed in with my other one because I am getting older so I have to make sure that like the stuff I'm wearing is more towards my skin type. Now that I'm getting older I do have to start using more of the anti-aging stuff and ooh snap <laughs> and a little does go a long way for this. I just put a lot on this one accidentally. I pressed a little too hard. But I go in with my, oh, I put a little too much. I just go in with a little bit and I just rub it all in there. And I actually have not noticed this thing like really like helping with my wrinkles. Um, I am getting older. I am getting, um... What is it called? I was going to say crow's feet. Is it crow's feet? Uh, on my bags. I mean, un under my eyes. You know, I am getting older. So, I have wrinkles. I have bags. And I smile so much throughout the day. Like, I'm going to get the laugh lines. No matter what concealer I put. No matter what setting powder I put. Throughout the day, you can always see the cracks under my eyes. Because 
that's just the way it is for me uh but i did get this one the this eye cream from sorry i didn't even say what it was um this is the inky list retinol eye cream it does says it helps reduce visible signs of aging around the eyes but i really haven't noticed like anything too like oh my god it's so amazing and i just bought it because i was at sephora looking for my cleanser which is also from the inky and I, it says it's for like women in their 30s or mi like late mid mid 20s early 30s if I'm not mistaken that's what it said in the on the actual box so I was like oh let me try it um but I actually didn't like bother to like look online at the reviews some of the reviews on this were bad and some were good but for me it's I'm I'm just not gonna use this I'm just using it up Sorry, I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to rebuy this. I'm not going to repurchase it is what I meant to say. Uh, so I'm not going to repurchase this. I'm just going to finish this out. And then I'm going to start looking for another eye cream for the nighttime. If anyone has any recommendations on any night cream for late 20, early 30s, you know, I don't get filler. I don't get Botox. I don't get none of that. So obviously I'm aging and I'm trying to prevent it as long as possible. So if you have any suggestions of any like eye cream that I can use at night, um, before anyone suggests, I suggest it, suggests it. I did uh, used to use the Olay. They have the uh, eye cream for like the older women and that one did not work for me. So that's one that I don't don't really like. But this one, I'm going to replace this. I'm just gonna, I'm just using it because you know I did spend the money for it, so why not just finish it out. And for my moisturizer, I'm going to use this by Body Mary. This is the Breakthrough Night Cream. This has 5% niacinamide peptides ocean minerals and seaweed uh this i liked it i did try another uh the retinol one they have a retinol one of this like this as well for night and i just wasn't impressed with the retinol one and then i went back to this night cream one but now i'm feeling like the night cream one's not really doing anything for me i do have a replacement already for uh, my moisturizer at night uh once i'm done with that bottle which is almost we're almost there. I'm going to use the Neutrogena Triple H Repair Night Moisturizer. If anyone knows, if anyone uses this and knows if it's good, please let me know down below. I haven't opened it. It's still been just chilling here. I have it open. Um, but I do use the moisturizer from Body Mary. And I actually put some drops of this in in it this is the ordinary's lactic acid 10 percent plus ha hyaluronic acid so this is a high strength lactic acid so i'm really like scared with a with a acids i tried the glycolic acid toner from the ordinary and i actually stopped using it because it started burning and irritated my and it irritated the crap out of my skin actually um so this if you guys have any of these and you're just scared and you kind of like slowly want to add this into your routine, um, you can always dilute it. So diluting pretty much means just add it onto like moisturizer, like a couple of drops so that your skin can toler start building tolerance to towards this acid. Um, again, acids are so like... They're scary, but some are good. And I do like this one, um, this lactic acid. I can't remember what exactly this does, but I have been diluting it into my moisturizer um, this whole time since I bought that bottle. And I don't think I'm going to use that individually. I'm going to keep doing it this way. And it looks like I have some black all over my face, huh? <laughs> oh man, I can't believe it came back. It's been a struggle with me and this right here. This is like um like an like an allergic reaction. It's so annoying. But it goes away once I apply hyaluronic acid and then within a couple of days it comes back once it's it's my sweat so like I've become like so sensitive to like my sweat now where it's giving me dermatitis 
uh, on this part right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, anyhow. And the last thing, guys, and we're done with this nighttime skincare routine. Uh, as you guys can tell, my nighttime skincare routine is just, like, not as crazy. I just use what I use. Uh, sometimes they do say less is more, so I try to just keep it nice and simple. Uh, this, I don't know if it's really, like working working uh i bought it on amazon i ran well i still have a little bit but i used to use this oh shit um i used to use this this is the biosan squalene a uh, squalene uh vitamin c rose oil this thing I got it for like $30 last Christmas. Uh, they went half off like on all their gift kits from Christmas time and I bought it and I was really hoping it like hoping and praying it lasted a year, you know, because I only use it at night. I, I It's recommended to use both day and night, but I only was using it at night because it's a $72 bottle, guys. And... I don't got that type of money and obviously I wanted to see just how long it lasted if and it was and if it was really worth the $72 and it's not I started using this I think like in January and I'm I finished up this whole bottle I think there's still like a little bit left I don't know if you guys can see there's still a little left in there um but I stopped using it I was just like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Unless I get it on sale again, I'm not going to repurchase it. So I got to find something else to replace it with. So I went on Amazon and I bought this. This is the Orca Beauty Facial Oil. This is It has rosehip, papaya, and jasmine oils with tama, tamanu and vitamin C and E. This is a hydrating face oil. It's not like an actual like... Um, what is it? Like this one where it brightens and firms this one's just more for like hydration uh and honestly it works fine it hasn't broken me out um and honestly i bought this like two months ago and look at how much i've already used this is a humongous bottle i will link it down below this is a four fluid ounces compared to like this 72 dollar one which is only one fluid ounce you guys see the difference like oh crap um but this is more for like hydrating so don't expect it to be like an actual like um don't expect this to be like anything that's going to visibly firm or do anything like that that's crazy um the one complaint i do have is this dropper like as soon as you take this out of the bottle it's literally spills everywhere like this dropper you can't like stop it all the time and it just the first couple of times when i started using this it was just such a shock for me to like take it out and like it's go cool. it's like dropping everywhere um so i do about nine drops of this and I warm it up on my hands and then I just tap it. I tap, 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 tap. And then rub a little bit. And then don't forget to go down towards the chest, the decollete. Is that what it's called? The decollete? Decollete whatever <laughs> all right and then my last 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 step as you guys can see i've already applied the oil i'm done applying anything else on my actual skin but i'm gonna go ahead and use this by sasho sashu i don't know how you pronounce this crap um but i bought this during the 21 days of beauty from ulta um this is actual and dual-sided beauty roller it's made with silver wait what is it made with stainless steel and it is heavy as hell so if you're not you're the type of person who just doesn't want to carry these type of things i don't suggest you buy this i got this for half off and i figured i'd give it a try supposedly i have you know it's it claims that it's more uh what's the word i'm trying to look for it says, opposed to jade and rose quartz, stainless steel is non-porous and blemish-prone skin friendly. It claims that it's self-cooling. This thing is 
cold and refreshing but it's not like so cold where it's gonna hurt you like if you put ice because I know um, there's like the ice roller ones that you can put on to like depuff the skin uh, the face and it says you don't need to put this on the freezer in the fridge or whatever um, and then it says it's eco-friendly tools are made with recycled stainless steel and are 100% recyclable and our beautiful packaging is made Packaging is made with recycled cardboard. Also, it says it's durable compared to jade and rose quartz. Gua sha's easily break, especially when you drop them. This is not going to break, but it is heavy, guys. You can literally feel like the heaviness on this thing. Um, but I do use it as my last step. Only at night. I don't use it during the day. I just don't have the time to do it in the day. And I've been doing my skincare, my daytime skincare routine in the gym. <laughs> so I can't, I don't want to carry this heavy ass crap in my bag. So I use it just at night just to like help with, you know, any inflammation. It is cold but it's not super cold so don't expect this to be like oh my god so cold if you do want it a little bit more colder i would suggest you put this in the fridge um but i literally just use the bigger part and i just go in upwards motion trying to just tone and shape my skin and get some blood flowing i don't know if you guys can see there's a little bit of retinous blood circulation going on And then can't forget the double chin. You know, gotta get that jaw going. And then the last little small one right here, I just go under the eyes. Again, same thing. We're going in an upward motion. All right, and we are done. We're done, we're done, we're done. That is it for my nighttime skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me just like relax a little bit before I go to bed. Uh, again, this has been a long waited video. I think the last time I posted a nighttime skincare routine was like almost a year ago. So I figured it'd be time for me to update you guys and like really put what things I've changed and what things I have not changed from the last time I posted and yeah um, if you guys like this video please make sure to let me know down below and also by liking the video and if you guys haven't already please make sure to subscribe I will see you guys in my next video peace I'm like in the last part <laughs> Or you make noise. Hold on. <laughs>